See you in a week. Okay, right, so I'm gonna just smoke this now. So I've got some hickory chips, which are absolutely perfect. You want a strong wood, so oak or hickory are perfect. And then an old metal container like this. So I'm gonna put the wood chips in there. And then that goes on to the heat pan in there. So I'm gonna turn it on. That will start burning, it will create the smoke, which will smoke the bacon. Finally, we've got to not forget putting the temperature probes in. Now, we're not cooking this bacon, we're cold smoking, right? So I want it to be about 100 degrees up here. So, and then another one down below. And that way you can just keep a track on everything. All right, man, let's get the bacon. So there is the bacon. Now it's going to go in the smoker for about four hours at 100 degrees because we're slow smoking this baby, we're not cooking it. Let's get it in the top drawer. Four hours later. Should we see how it's done? Now, just look at that. Isn't that an absolute work of art? You can see the way it's taken on the smoke and the colour. It's completely changed into this golden beast of beautifulness. Just look at it, it's taken that on. Oh my god, I wish I could communicate how that smells. That bacon's in the fridge, I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to slice it first thing in the morning. Tears, food busker bacon, food busker bacon, busker tears. So, so I think that's probably the best thing I've ever done here on Food Busker. I mean, like, I haven't tasted it yet. I've prodded it a lot and I've smelt it even more. It's time now to cook it and to see. And let's see what this tastes like. We've got two little jobs to get done. I left these ribs in here, so we're just gonna cut and take those out. They're gonna be gnarly little chef treats. And then if we've got the skin on the top. That's very tough in locations. We're just gonna take that off. Using a sharp knife, just cut through the layer of fat underneath. Then I'm gonna slice it and then I'm gonna cook it and then I'm gonna eat it in my bacon sandwich, yeah, oh yeah. Sorry you had to see that. <sighs> right, let's slice some bacon. Now I'm just gonna take off this bit of fat here. What you wanna do is, is that you're using the knife like it's a saw, so set it up on top so you've got your thickness, and then slow, direct, long movements through. 
and then you get these beautiful slices of bacon. It looks absolutely beautiful. Right, let's cook it. Now, if you watched episode one, then you know that the bacon didn't cook like this. Is that it oozed out a milky, murky, moisture blanket of horribleness, right? Not a drop of moisture of any water came out of this bacon. Some fat came, which was released from the, the fat in the, the pork belly. You know, look at that. That is just, you know, that's what bacon should look like, people. Crispy. It's crunchy. Okay. <sighs> It's so hot. Right, man, it's time to taste the bacon. Oh, mate, I'm in heaven. Oh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's meaty. You see, this is the difference, right? Is that you get the porkiness. You taste pork, you taste pork meat. You're eating a piece of food, a piece of meat. Ah, oh, that's a bloody revelation. That is heaven. That, my brothers and sisters, oh, is bacon. <laughs> oh. Now, brothers and sisters, that, oh, that is porky happiness that's come to me through bacon. My work needs to be Actually, it's not. I'm going to make a bacon sandwich. Oh my god, that bacon spot, that was amazing. Right, thanks for my breakfast food, Oscar. Good, eh? So delicious, but I'm just wondering, like, how are you going to get it to people? Well, ideally, I'd have a vat packer. They're like awesome. They suck all the air out of the stored food, so they extend the shelf life and make the food safe. But like, they're well expensive. Well, it'll be easy because I'll I'll slice it and I'll put it in some cling film, and then I'll put it in some ice, and then put it in a jiffy bag with a label, and then I'll just post it to people. Are you sure that's going to work? Please work. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, what was the last time I did a business that didn't work?